My name is Barry Riley, I'm a professor of econometrics. I've been at this university for about 25 years. I first came as a lecturer uh, and through subsequent promotion became uh, a professor of econometrics. Econometrics is an area uh, of statistics that is used extensively in economics and the primary purpose of it is to try and basically uh, test interesting propositions from economic theory empirically and see the extent to which they stand up. Most of my research uh, historically has been in the area of labour economics and I've looked a lot at labour economics in developed countries uh, like the United Kingdom, uh, Europe, but in more recent times spent a lot of time looking at labour markets and how they function in developing countries, particularly paying attention to issues around gender disparities, ethnic disparities, racial disparities. The key, uh, the central kind of objective of economics, the central issue that economics concerned is how individuals, how firms, how institutions respond to incentives. And basically that in a nutshell is what economics is about. And if you can try and basically explain to individuals the importance of incentives, it does give you leverage in designing policies that may alter incentives in such a way that it improves welfare of individuals, welfare of households, welfare of firms. One other point that I'd probably make is that there's a big distinction in economics between microeconomics and macroeconomics. There's a lot of settled issues around microeconomics, about the behaviour of firms, the behaviour of individuals. Uh, there's less settled views on macroeconomics. And one of the big problems that we have had in economics in the last 10 years is an inability to use macro models to predict crises of one kind or another. Uh, so uh, the only way we'll ever be, be able to predict and get into a situation where we can uh, calibrate models that are going to have better predictive power is by always looking at the data and being prepared to revise our theories in the light of uh, new data and uh, the evidence from that data. There's only one business story that keeps me up at night and that's Brexit. I think this is a, it's a huge issue. It's creating incredible uncertainty for businesses, the length and breadth of this country, but also in Europe and globally. And it has implications for labour markets, for product markets, for any insurance markets, financial markets. And we're no nearer now knowing what direction that is going to go. It's a really, it's a good time for economists in the sense that uh, they've made a number of uh, predictive statements about what the implications are. We're now going to basically see if particular policies are pursued, whether things will work out as economists have argued they will. But it certainly would be the key news story, if you want to put it like that, that basically kind of occupies most economists.